Hi, this is Robin with Can't Wait Smells Great. And today I'm going to make a spaghetti squash boat. Um, Mama Bear Keto Renee Riffle challenged um, to if you had boat recipes. So I'm going to do a spaghetti squash boat today. Alright, so first we have to cook the spaghetti squash. And I like to do mine in the oven because I'm going to pull the seeds out and then roast them later. Well, I might stick them in and roast them at the same time. But um, the hard part is cutting this thing. It's tough or hard or whatever. So I've sharpened my knife, hopefully sharp enough. Yay! I hope I caught that on video. We brought the insides. like scooping out um, when you do a jack-o-lantern you know you just scoop out the uh, all the seeds and stuff with it all right I've got them cleaned out good see and then got my little bowl of all my seeds and I'm gonna go back and roast those in just a little bit but in order to cook this I have a pan just a plain old baking pan and I've got just a little bit of water in the bottom about quarter of an inch and then you just turn them upside down in there and then we're going to put them in the oven for 45 minutes and while they're cooking I'm going to start fixing my uh, meat mixture and I keep pulling my britches up it's a non-scale victory they used to be too tight and now they're just falling off of me so what I'm going to do first I, I've got one onion so I'm just going to uh, dice it up. I wanted to hear that sizzle. But, uh, everything's coming up to temperature. So, let me tell you what I'm doing. Um, I've got a little less than a pound of hamburger. I've got salt and pepper, pink Himalayan salt and pepper. I got some Italian seasonings. Um, this is leftover red sauce from when I made the chicken and red sauce recipe. And I had frozen it, so I just thawed it up, and I'm just going to add it to the the meat mixture. I have Rayo's pizza sauce. I used that the day I made the bacon pizza. Um, and then I have, I'm going to put some feta cheese. I'm going to mix it up once I get the spaghetti squash noodles out. I'm going to mix that up with the meat mixture. And then on top, I'm going to do just a blend of mozzarella and uh, cheddar cheese and Monterey Jack. So I like to saute my onions a little bit before I add the hamburger and of course <laughs> it's smelling really good the uh, bacon grease that was left in here is just it just smells awesome it gives everything a flavor a good flavor I love to you know I save my bacon grease and um, of course you know I season my cast iron skillets with bacon grease um, Salt and pepper, of course, always salt and pepper to your taste. I like to taste pepper, so that's probably about an eighth of a teaspoon. Salt, um, probably half, maybe half to a quarter to a half teaspoon. And then this is, I'll probably put a half tablespoon of Italian season just because these two, my sauces already have seasoning, so it's not going to need a lot more. But I just want to give it that good Italian flavoring. Um, I don't know. I'm, I guess I'm going more towards like a spaghetti sauce is what, you know, this flavor is going to be. It smells delicious. The um, Italian seasonings um, were just smelling up the house. So, you know what? Mini, 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 mo. I'm going to use the uh, red sauce that I made. It may be enough to do the whole thing. Oh, it smells heavenly. You'll have to go back and watch um, the recipe where I made chicken and red sauce to get that recipe. 
it's a basic red sauce recipe that you can use on any kind of uh, any kind of pasta dish that you make or faux pasta dish. See, that coated it really good. What I'll do, I will um, copy that recipe for you and put it in the description. Now, this also, if you had some leftover pizza sauce, that would be really good in it too. But if I put any more liquid, it's going to be too liquidy. I think it's going to be good like this. And I'm going to let it simmer. I'm going to cut it down below because the iron skillet holds the heat really well. I don't want it to burn. While I keep on picking out okay, seeds. I've got my pumpkin seeds all uh, nice and i got all that stuff cleaned off of them. I've got them in a sheet pan and I've dried them pretty good. Now I'm, I've got some bacon grease that I'm just going to run, run around on them. And I'm going to salt and pepper them good. Well, it might help if I open it. I'm sure you can flavor it with whatever you wanted to. I'm just doing salt and pepper just to try it because I've never done it before. And I'm just going to make sure everybody's good and covered in the bacon grease. And then I'm going to pat them out to get them in a single layer. And I'm going to stick them in the oven. I'm um, My spaghetti squash only has about 15 minutes less left. So I'm going to put this on the bottom rack for those 15 minutes and then when I pull the spaghetti squash out then I'll move them up to the top rack for probably about 15 to 20 more minutes. I believe I am going to go ahead and add some pizza sauce to it to make it more more saucy. Why not? And it, you know, whatever's left over um, <laughs> I can eat meat mixture later. Alright, and here's my pumpkin seeds. So I'm going to uh, just mix those a little bit, get them toasty, so they'll get toasty on all sides. And then flatten them back out. Alright, so these are going back in the oven. Again, I got the oven on uh, 350. They've already done 15 minutes. Um, while these, the spaghetti squash was finishing up. I looked at some of my video and I apologize. This long piece of hair keeps getting in my face. I know I don't like to see somebody's hair all in the face. So. Alright, so they're good and soft. Alright, so now i got to let these cool off before I Get and all now the what you do, out. you take your fork and you just start just pulling them back. And I believe I cooked it a little too long. It's a little mushy. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to put it in with my meat mixture. And I'm just going to keep shredding. Let's see how it's coming off now. That's what you want, the pretty shreds. Alright. Now, I'm just going to mix that in with my meat mixture. Go ahead and throw in a little bit of feta cheese. That's all I got left. So. That's probably, if I had to measure it, because I don't measure things, it was probably a quarter of a cup of feta cheese. And I'm just stirring just to incorporate and make sure that the spaghetti squash gets good and coated in that meat mixture. I did taste my meat mixture and it's awesome. 
Again, you can use any kind of sauce, any kind of meat that you want to do. Just the sky's the limit, you know, just to imagine. And you could do this with sausage, um, uh, ground chicken, ground turkey. You know, they're more leaner meats, but if you had it, you could do it. And then whatever sauce that you wanted to make, um, I could have, you know, I had a little bit of the leftover sauce, so I used it just to go ahead and use it up. It had thawed when the power was off. Um, so I went ahead and used it. And I used what was left of the pizza sauce. There we go. And I'm going to put a layer and then I'm going to put some cheese. Because I like cheese. So I'm going to layer it kind of like lasagna. I'm going to put a scoop. And I'm going to put some cheese. And um, I will have to work on macros because I have no idea. So I'm just, you know, that's about, about a tablespoon of, of the, that's cheddar Monterey cheese. And then I'll put a little bit of mozzarella cheese. About the same amount. You know what I forgot? I was going to do mushrooms and peppers. Shucks. Next time. Anyway, that's a good idea too. Use your mushrooms and your your peppers. Let's see, I've got all this left. So I'll be able to eat on it. You know, fix me some romaine wraps and stuff. Or just eat it. Just heat it up and eat it. There we go. Go ahead and put me a little more cheese. Now when I, I put it in the oven to bake, all everything is cooked already. You just want to bake it to get all this cheese melted and gooey. Do, should I go with a little more? Just a little scoop more? Just a little scoop more. There we go. Just a little scoop more. Just cause. Alright. So I do have leftovers. Just a little more cheese. Alrighty, so now we're ready to get back in the oven. Let's see. Let me look at my seeds and see what they look like. Mmm. I'd say they're done. Good and toasty. I know they're going to be hot. Yum. Got a good crunch. That's going to be good for a snack. Alrighty, let's put this in. I'm going to say 20 minutes. I still got the oven going 350, so I'm going to say 20 minutes and we'll check it. Alright, I let them cook uh, 20 minutes, 350, um, and this is what they look like. I've got to let them cool off before I can try a bite, but I wanted to show y'all up close what they look like. Time for tasting! Doesn't that look delicious? I can't get it. You see the cheese. Mm. That is so good. I gotta go some more. Look at that cheese. Woo wee! Fix my bite. <laughs> mm. That is divine. So back at you, Mama Bear Keto. I got you a new boat recipe. Um, just kind of on the fly. I hope y'all enjoy it. 
We'll see y'all soon. Love y'all.